What I'm going to tie tonight is a hopper wand. And what I've got in the hook is a TMC 5262, size 6. And I've hooked it with some 2 milliliter craft foam. Um, cut with uh, the Chernobyl cutters. And I'm going to start the thread from the back here. I'm going to bring it to the eye of the, I mean the bend of the hook. What I got here is 3 out 10. It's a, you want a heavier grade, I mean a heavier thread because you got some cinching down to do on, on foam and uh, elk hair. Okay, so I'm at that point. I'm going to take my thread, my, my craft foam, bring it up to the thread and bring it, bring the thread around lightly, loosely. Just kind of do a wrap there to get all the way around it and then cinch down on it like so. And then from there, I'm going to put a drop of super glue on that joint. Now I got another piece of craft foam that was cut with the Chernobyl um, cutters. I made it a little longer. That's about a half inch longer than what the Chernobyl cutter is. And I'm going to put the craft foam right on top of that. So it lines up and evenly. And I'm going to put a couple loose wraps in there. And I'm going to cinch down on it. Like so. And I'm going to bring this forward. I'm going to bring it back up here. And I'm going to bring it across. And I'm going to put it... I've got to segment this. There's four sections. There will end up being four segments, sections in it. And I'm going to have to put a couple wraps. Put a wrap there. Tighten that down like that. Put another drop of glue. And then bring down the foam over the top and do another couple wraps. And we're going to grab our scissors and we're going to cut this foam out of the way. I want to try to keep it tight and not cut our thread. And then we'll pull the other thing, hold the craft foam with our fingers and just wrap that down. Let's wrap that down and we're gonna bring this craft foam back over to the top and we're gonna put a couple wraps into it. Okay, once we get to this point, we're gonna bring our Thread back up over the top and then across the first segment. And at here, we're going to put our web, not our web, but web, web, this is web wing. Um, Juan Ramirez or Hopper Juan doesn't use web wing, he uses a mountain fly company web, I mean, not web, wing material. Um, it's a little too expensive for me to justify spending that kind of money on, so I went with cheap web wing. And I just cut it out into a shape that resembles a wing. and. We're going to bring that down to the right over the top. I want it to extend to the back of the fly here. Do a couple of light wraps and we'll cinch down on it. Like so. After we cinch down on it, we're going to trim it. I got four strands of crystal flash. This is root beer flavored. Um, you can use any color you want. I know the original has either UV white or, or pearl or UV pearl. And what we're going to do is just going to fold it over the thread and tie it down. This is going to be cut about the end of the wing too. And then we're going to grab some elk hair. And we don't need very much elk hair, just enough to help it float. Um, I'd say less than a the uh, width of a pencil. And we're gonna clean all the 
guard hair and junk hair, f furry stuff out of that. Just clean it up real good. And put it in our hair stacker. Then we're just going to put it right down onto it. We want the hair to send just the length of the body. And I'm holding the, the hair right now with at the sides because when I tight put this thread around it, I don't want it to go everywhere. So I'm putting a couple of rat, loose wraps and then I'm going to tighten it down real good. And at this point, while my hand, fingers are still down on the uh, fly, I'm going to grab my snips and snip the butt ends of that off, being careful not to cut the thread. And once we've gotten to that point, put another wrap of thread on that just to, for good measure. We're going to put a dab of glue onto the first section of that fly. After we put the dab, dab of glue on that section of fly, we're going to fold the foam over, over the top. We'll do a couple loose wraps, and we're going to tighten it. And we're going to pull this over, and we just don't want this to extend past that second section, this second section right here. So we're going to grab foam. Well, we're going to cut it just right there. That's a good spot. When I get to this point, I want to grab some rubber legs. You just need one. You don't need, just need a couple inches. And we're going to wrap that in and tie it down. Do the same thing with the other side. wrap that in, align it to the sides there. I'm going to bring scissors and bring it to a point. Just cut it right there. Then we're going to grab um, some indicator material. We want that to just grab that indicator. Just grab, yeah, the, the thread just grab the indicator. When we get to this point, we're going to whip finish the fly. thread and we want to cut this indicator down to cut it the idea is just to be able to see it in the water so we're going to cut it down just behind the wing case there and there you have it that is a hopper wand I really like this fly I've seen it tied with pink indicator I've seen it thanks for watching uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel fish based fly box YouTube channel Follow, follow, uh, follow us on fishbaseflybox.com and like us on Facebook. Thank you. Have a nice night.